What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be really simple. I'm going to teach you how to squat. You might be thinking, why should you listen to me on how to squat? Well, I'm going to show you why, so I'll tell you why. Check it out. Alright, so you might be wondering why the fuck listen to this random guy telling me how to squat. Well, this is two times my body weight, but I'm just chilling here with, and now I'm going to shoot up. Okay, so hopefully now you can see why you should listen to me on how to squat. But really, I'm just gonna show you four things that are key to doing a proper squat while we'll protecting your body, protecting the knees, protecting the back and everything. Things really gonna help out a lot of beginners and people that kind of just jump into it. So without further ado, here we go. First thing that I wanna show you is gonna be your hand position. Um, <clears throat> most parts have the rings for the Olympic markings. You don't feel like you have to use that. Really, I want you to play with the positioning and just see what's comfortable for you. So for me, what I like to do on this particular barbell is place my thumbs at the edge of the knurling, and then that is where I'm gonna grip. That is where I keep it. You'll notice I put my thumb around the bar like this, because when I do this, it hurts my wrist. Um, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not gonna go into scientific reasons why, but just know that if you have wrist pain from squats, it might be because you're doing that. So try just putting your wrists or your thumbs like that. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your arms are vertical with the bar. You want the barbell to be horizontal, obviously, and you want your palms to just be going straight up vertical. You don't wanna do this or that. The reason for that is, once you squeeze under the barbell, the goal here is to get your elbows into your lats. Just imagine that you're squeezing your elbows into your lats. All right, so that's two things that I want you to check out. Is your wrist positioning, and then just squeeze your elbows and your arms into your lats. Next thing we're gonna talk about is your foot positioning. So a lot of people will just start off closer than their shoulder width apart, and you know, they'll just start squatting. And that might work for you, okay? But it's gonna depend on your mobility. What I like to do, just place my feet slightly wider, and you'll notice that I have my toes pointing out at an angle. Not quite a 45 degree, but they're not going straight out either. The reason you do this, it just helps, for me, it helps incorporate more of my overall leg muscles, my quads, my abductors, adductors, and my hamstrings into the motion. So instead of doing this and going straight out, almost feeling like the knees are just wanting to bulge out, Go like this, and it's just smoother for me. It's just better. And you'll notice that my knees don't stick out as far because they say you never want your knees to go over your toes. I don't know how much I believe that. I think, again, it just depends on your mobility. For some people, their knees will go over their toes. For others, it won't. It'll be closer in. But if you experience knee pain, try playing with your foot positioning. Go closer, go wider. For the sake of this video, we're going to use my preferred form, which is pretty wide, with the toes pointing out. The last thing I want to give you a tip on before I go through the motion is what I like to call the butt pop. So that's how you make sure to engage the hamstrings and your glutes in the squat. Most people start off a squat at the knees. They just go like this. That's not that's a no-no in every single scenario. You will hurt your knees, your tendons, they're not meant to take that much brunt because those are the things that are gonna be picking up the slack. What you wanna do is again, what I call the butt pop. So, imagine that you're going to sit down. What I want you to do, pop the butt out. What this does immediately is engage your glutes and your hamstrings, and then I want you to go down and you'll feel it at this point. You will feel the tension in your glutes and hamstrings. And then I want you to take a deep breath, tighten your core, shoot up. Now, of course, when you're actually performing the squat, you'll be taking the breath as you're going down. So it'll go, shoot up. So now we're gonna put all that to use. First thing we're gonna do, get the positioning of the hands right. I'm gonna squeeze under the barbell, squeeze my elbows into my lats, 
We're gonna lift off, step back, get those feet positioned. Make sure everything's good, you're straight, feeling good. You're gonna do the butt pop, and you're gonna go down, keep your back straight, and up. Make sure to do that butt pop every single time. You don't wanna start doing this. You'll feel that in the knees, no good. That's it, that's all I have for you. Those are my tips on how to squat properly and safely so you can prevent knee injuries. That's probably the most common injury when doing squats. I know for a while that was really bad for me. I had really bad knee pain, and I had really bad knee pain still from starting off not doing squats properly. So I really hope that this saves some of you that are just starting off on your bodybuilding or powerlifting journey from having the knee pain that I've had. It's not pleasant and you will have to take time on and off from squats. But anyways, just to recap, Four things, hand placement, squeeze those elbows and arms into your lats, get the foot positioning, and do the butt pop. The butt pop. That's it, hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, all your feedback I do appreciate, so just let me know what else you'd like to see.